can see the flowers, how they're starting to put out the anthers with the pollen on them. And the bees will come by and rub that on there. And then when they transfer over to another flower, they'll touch the stigma and pollinate the uh, flower. So anyway, that's what ends up being the nut, which we use for food. So we're taking somewhere around 2.5 million hives of bees that pollinate the almonds. That is basically the entire bee supply of the United States. So this is the biggest bug migration in the history of the world coming to pollinate the California almond crop, which are sold globally. So anyway, it all runs on the backs of honeybees. And if the bees didn't provide that, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't produce this brown almond kernel. So it's very important that we have a healthy bee industry to coexist with a very healthy and economical almond industry. Comme partout dans le pays, les abeilles de Brett meurent. Cette année, il a perdu 50 000 ruches, la moitié de ce qu'il possédait. He started being lost back in 2006 and seven, and. The USDA scientists coined the term CCD, colony collapse disorder, and nobody really knew what it is then. There's one school of thought that it's environmental pressures, and that one seems to be showing more and more prevalence. And the other school of thought is that it's a parasitic mite. And I would tell you that it's probably the two of them combined because of the environmental pressures uh, the bees can't take the parasitic mite anymore. Pas de quoi déstabiliser les producteurs d'amandes qui préfèrent faire venir des abeilles de tout le pays plutôt que de changer leur mode de culture. Pour David Fippen, le syndrome d'effondrement des colonies serait même un mythe. The misconception is that historically there's always been bee loss in the beehive. Uh, that's been going on for a generation. But some years, the losses are as great as uh, 25 or 35 or 45 percent, and other years, the, the losses are less. That's no different than me growing trees here. I have losses in my trees. took off, you get this kind of vortex, that vortex moves the material down into the canopy. Moves it down and out, so it's it's really effective. It's somewhat, but the wind pushes it down into the trees, where it attaches to the flowers and the trees itself because of the electrostatic effect. <laughs> 